whatever the survey tells us. We'll stand by the results. Right? I think I can fairly uh, speak for people when I say that. Um, so that's the only way this controversy is going to end. It's not going to end. Because what will happen is this board will say, we, we're not going to listen to the myriad number of people that have come out and spoken, that have put signs on their lawns, that have talked about it at their churches, their schools, and their neighborhoods, that have written letters and so on. We're just going to say we're, we're, we're going to move ahead with the decision without getting that input. The other thing I think I would ask you to keep in mind is that we're up for a fire and police village renewal next year. And the last time part of the village, it was, it, I think it was like 60% at that spot. But if we push this through, that's the will of what I think are a lot of people in this community without asking them. Don't assume that they're going to come back next year and pass a police and fire village if they're still angry over this issue. Don't assume that. <laughs> my comments, there is no downside to putting it on hold. Put it on hold, conduct the survey. If the survey shows that the community is in support of it, everyone will shut up, including me. That's hard for me. That is a promise. Um, I will shut up. You heard it here tonight. Um, we have it on the record. However, um, and, and if the survey shows that the people are opposed to it, then there's not this. So anyway, I'll wrap up. Those are my comments. Are there just a comment? Let's hear from the other stuff there. Just go before it says this thing. Comments now, if you'd like. Okay. I guess I'll start with Steve Rockwell and his play skate that we put out of the park. Going Park, the land is free. We spent two hundred and ten thousand dollars putting it together. The soccer fields. We had the people around the soccer fields come to a meeting and show them what we were going to do. They were fine with it. The clubhouse and the golf course. We remodeled. We did go out for the play. The dock of the pond. We just put it in. Nobody complained. The shelter through. We did improvements. There, the equipment barn, we rebuilt it for the park and the golf course. Spray skate, everybody wants it. The train station we just did this year, shelter one, nobody complained. We did go out and ask everybody. And I think, in my opinion, that's why we were elected to do this.
opposed to that signature. Um, that happened at the same time when we went to build Township Hall. There was a gentleman went out and got the number signature under referendum to stop it. We went to a vote, it passed. Okay. This could have been referendum there. I voted for a budget in 2013 in July for these changes. I also voted for the budget in December of 2013 for these changes. Yes, we put a survey out there, but in no way do we think anybody would be looking at the survey for what we were moving forward. We were looking at recreation facilities and what people wanted in facilities at that time. These items have already taken place. We're moving forward with it. We borrowed the money. We got grants. We got donations. And I believe we should move forward. Yes, you're right, Bob. It's not going to get done this year. And at any time, if there's four votes up here, it can change. The only thing we're moving ahead with right now is the architecture on that that was approved at a prior meeting. And we'll see where everything comes in. And that's where we're heading. I don't see any reason to stop. The soil, the soil borings were just released um, this week from the engineering firm, so that's a little big hole up there. Uh, we'll be reviewed by the architect and the architect for determining this. Also, the future too, because the information will be sure sent did. to the yeah. Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, uh, and they have, they're going to have to review it too to see if it meets their, their requirements. So there's a possibility that soil borings and or the
and me sitting here saying, <laughs> me saying, I know 105 that are against it, and, you know, let's get real data. Let's find out. Why What's not? the harm? Yeah. Okay. Other trusting comments? I just feel like there are some moving pieces with the studies being done, and to disrupt that, it can't be built anyway. This construction season, I don't see any reason to postpone and staff what is already in the And there was an opportunity when the annual improvement bonds were um, issued for a public referendum, and some people did come in and express an interest in the petitions, and then the government never followed through on turning in petitions. So we didn't hear anything a lot of times. So people were aware of it, they were aware of the projects at the time. Um, this wasn't done in the dark, the dark, darkness, and it was done in public meetings, and um, so I don't see any reason to postpone it. Is there a, Are we able to hear that? No, I can't hear a single word. Yeah. We need to hear it. Yeah. 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 I think we've had a uh, discussion. Well, I think this is an important issue. Discussions, and we've heard both sides. So you're not going to let me talk anymore? Absolutely, very good to talk. I think you have to talk to the jury on the top. You're talking in support of it. Typically, it's the opposition uh, side that usually likes to speak the most. OK. So Mr. Supervisor, would you like to add some comments? I have already made my comments. We didn't hear them. We didn't hear them. We didn't hear them, sir. We didn't hear them. Well, they're on the record. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're not about to get away. Oh, come on. Ah, we can do that too. <laughs> I'm getting this. I thought we had to tell us if That's a cop out. Thank you. I think we've heard some comments up here. I've talked about, uh, uh, I mentioned when, in my period we asked, I mentioned that the Soil awards were detained. Uh, they're just now the architect. They have to evaluate those. I talked also with the DEQ then to get the results of that evaluation given to them by the architect. So there's still two potential issues out there. I think it's a little bit premature. Uh, those two issues, and that's what I said, those two issues may actually uh, come up to, uh, I didn't say it specifically, that, but then cause this to be permanently uh, placed on hold. But I did say they have to be evaluated. And they are, either one of those two, the architects and evaluations, and, and the Department of Environmental Quality could put a stop to this. So that's what I said. I think we're ready for a vote at this time. So, so all those in favor of the proposed motion signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed signify by saying no. 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 Mm -hmm. I see. Three in favor and four against. Okay. Uh, supervisor and trustee comments. Wanted to uh, let the uh, public know that they're interested in the uh, household hazardous waste days. 